I grew up on a farm, kind of a geeky kid, actually. Uh, more into computer science and, like, I taught myself how to uh, program computers in middle school. And that was sort of more my thing. Um, sports weren't real yet, but we sort of started, a, a group of us started playing tackle football during middle school. And then I decided to go out for the high school football team. And at the time, you know, I was still relatively small, but I worked really hard, went through playing for the high school football team. And this is sort of a roundabout way to getting where this story is going. <laughs> Anyhow, so there was the high school football team. Um, and I, you know, I hadn't had any girlfriends or anything that, like that. And it was probably senior year before I actually had my first real girlfriend. And then that led into college, where um, my first year of college, I went up and played uh, football for junior out of college, small division three. But for a guy who really was, you know, nothing. I never even started for the for the high school team I played for. But but they were um, they knew I worked hard and and said, okay, you're coming from a good program and come up and play for us. But this is going back to my high school girlfriend who. We dated for a little bit, but this was back in the um, 80s, like started high, uh, college in 85. And the only way to really communicate was through pen and paper, right? Or phone calls. And we had a phone call at the end, or a phone at the end of the dorm, so it wasn't really all that convenient to even call each other. You had to write, and you know, so you'd write each other all this, you know, lovely stuff, um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can't wait to hold you later. Can't, you know, oh, you too. You know, all that letters back and forth, whatever. And uh, so now fast forward a number of years. Oh, no, actually in college, uh, that first year of playing football for a Division three school, back then I was quite a bit smaller. I went into college at 185, and I won't say what I am now, but it's a bit bigger than that. And... Um, I said, okay, so playing line, oh, I was a lineman too. So playing line in a D3 school with these kids who were as big as I am now then, I'm like, this is not going anywhere for me. So I started, somehow I came across the rugby team. And, uh, you know, now you can sort of see that I'm a guy built for rugby. And I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, and there was a fair amount of beer drinking involved and other stuff, so it was a lot of fun. But anyhow, uh, so I started playing rugby, and that leads me to the next point. So I played rugby all through college, and then um, back home here I played for the Harrisburg Men's Club for a while. And we weren't a bad team. We had this tight group of guys who really played pretty hard and, and uh, all were coming up through the system together. And um, we went to the, we ended up winning our division. And as a result of uh, winning our division, we went on to like our district championship, which, which, like I said, I'm from the Harrisburg area. We went down, I live in Northern York County, so. <laughs> um, so, so we went down to uh, Frederick, Maryland for these, uh, they're called Marfu Championships. While we were down there, um, we, we ended up partying a lot and didn't do it quite as well as we should have. We probably should have won that, that championship down there. Uh, but what ended up happening was partying a bit and we were out in one of the bars and I um, met this girl. And what was unique about this woman was that she was deaf. Uh, so, you know, we sort of hit it off and we sort of started this um, hey, yeah, give me a call sometime. Here's how you do it. Like, how do you call a deaf person? Well, the way you call a deaf person is you uh, call up a certain number, and then they connect to their teletype machine. So you call up and talk to a person in real life. And I called up, and I talked to this girl, and, and uh, she was very articulate. So there, there is a difference between the Pennsylvania, um, actually you guys all pay for this, so there, on, the, on each of your phone bills, there's a little thing that says TTY, so you're paying for that interpreter to um, do this job. So you'd call the, the live person, talk to the live person, and then you'd say, go ahead. 
And then they'd type on the little machine, and then they'd, and the, the uh, deaf person would have the teletype machine and be able to read off what, what you're typing and stuff, or what, what that person's typing. They'd read it, then they'd type GA, meaning go ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so we were going back and forth, you know, a few times, uh, usually me calling her, and then uh, a few times later, she called me. Now, the difference is Maryland uses, uh, it, uh, the people in Maryland just didn't sound quite as, they didn't read quite as fluently as the people in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and and I, I get a phone call from her, and it's, um, Hi, this is Peggy Ann calling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hold you later. <laughs> I'm like, Go ahead. I'm like, I can't wait either. We'll talk later. She's the mother of two of my children. 